Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make money on YouTube without subscribers in 2017. So one of the hardest things to do when you're trying to make a living or part-time income from YouTube is building up that base of subscribers that will go and watch your video as soon as you upload it. So until you have that, you're going to have a harder time building up your channel and getting the views, getting the watch time that you need. So I'm going to show you after doing over 400 videos for my channel, getting millions of millions of views per month, I'm going to show you what I've learned that can help you um, get a much faster start to your YouTube career than I did. So the first thing I would recommend, recommend you do is get vidIQ. It's a free tool that you can get. Um, it's a browser extension and what it does is it lets you um, see a lot of statistics and things like that on your videos and other people's videos that you wouldn't see otherwise so I use it for Google Chrome you can also get it for Firefox and some of these others but vidIQ vision for YouTube is what it's called it's an extension and you want to get that I'll show you what it does here in just a second but it's going to really help you because you're going to want all the help you can get until you get your subscriber base pretty high. Um, also, you need to sign in to vidIQ um, on the vidIQ site. So it'll have a link to the vidIQ site and the browser extension um, page on the Chrome store if you do it through Chrome uh, or you can just go to vidIQ.com and it should pop up you just gotta sign up for free and then it'll start working you just click it and make sure it's enabled and then it'll show up and give you a bunch of statistics and stuff not only on your website like you can see here on mine or but it also gives you a lot on the actual YouTube page which I'll show you here in a second but it's gonna be very crucial to um, putting yourself in the best position. Number two, you want to pick popular topics to do videos about. So um, you're going to want to leverage things that people really do care about. And there's ways that you can check that um, even if you don't have subscribers or much of a following yet. So what you can do is, let's say, obviously you should, if you're watching this video, you should at least have an idea of what your channel is going to be about. If not, I have other videos on my channel that help you figure out what your channel should be about. But let's say you're going to do like a review channel. I'll use that as an example. So if you want to do a review of tech, like iPhones, if you want to do like an iPhone review, you can see the, that there's like... 10 things that usually pop up when you have a fairly popular keyword that you type in. These are the um, suggestions, the search suggestions on YouTube. These will tell you what people are looking for the most often when it's related to that keyword. So usually people type in one of these things like 7 plus, 2007, 6S, um, 2017, iPhone 8 whatever after when you type that in so that will give you an idea first off you should have at least 10 results otherwise it's probably not a popular enough topic and then you can use these to figure out what your title of your video should be and what it should cover so use the auto suggestion features I'll do another I'll do another one let's say we do a Samsung Galaxy review or something like that S8, S8 Plus, S7, Note 8 so you know it shows you what people are looking for on YouTube just in that suggestion box um, another thing you can check of course is trending videos so you would just go to the trending tab you when you go to YouTube the first time you're on the home page all you gotta do is click this tab here it says trending and then you can see what people are looking at, what people um, are interested in right now. So you'll see a few uh, movie trailers. You'll see some stuff about some tech. You'll see uh, some channels that are rising right now. You'll see some stuff about 
maybe music or TV shows or comparison videos of certain food. Uh, some kind of comedy videos are usually on here. There's all kinds of stuff. So what you want to do is use a combination of obviously what your channel's about, what's trending, and what shows up in the in the uh, suggestions in the search bar to figure out some ideas of what people would actually want to watch a video about. Number three, you need to use current events, trending videos, and news. So I already covered trending videos. You also want to use current events and news to get a big boost in traffic without having a whole lot of competition. So if you don't have a lot of subscribers, you're going to have a hard time ranking for something that's kind of evergreen, meaning evergreen content is like, you know, how to do this. You know, it's something that could apply in five years from now and still be applicable. But the big channels are the ones that rank for stuff like that, like how to videos, tutorials, things like that. Um, so, what you want to do, unless you're just going to do like straight up comedy or something like that, is use things like holidays. So, you, if you're going to do uh, like a reviews channel, you might review something like if it's around December, you might review stuff that has to do with, um, you know, holidays, Christmas, stuff like that. Um, if it's around February, you might review stuff that has to do with Valentine's Day. If you review stuff in, you know, let's say you're in the U.S., you review stuff in July, you could do stuff about like the 4th of July, you could do Halloween, you could do in October, you could do all kinds of stuff. But if you relate it to what's going on, like, okay, or you could even tell people like, hey, today's National Ice Cream Day, this is, and then do something interesting about that. So current events, you can find this at timeanddate.com. You can see that here, timeanddate.com and see you can click on your country and see what kind of holidays are going to be throughout each month um, another thing you can do is look at news and I've done a few videos that have to do with news um, YouTube news I've done another one that had to do with uh, sports and something Tony Robbins said and it did very well um, so you can look at say yahoo.com and they have a lot of the latest news that's popular and trending right now and then you can do stuff based on that whatever is related to the overall topic of your um, channel so you also want to of course keep it all related and stay in the same industry with your channel you don't want to bounce around too much but news and current events and things that are trending will help you get a boost in traffic more because it's talking about something that people are interested in a lot right now. Number four, you want to start monetizing with affiliate links right away. And like I said, unless you're doing like comedy um, or something like that, where you're just standing in front of a camera and talking, making jokes or something like that, which some people do very well. If you want to check out Jenna Marbles, that's one channel that pretty much does that. Um, even if you're doing like video games, though, if you're making like funny reactions to video games, like how PewDiePie started, um, you could do affiliate links to the game that you're playing. Um, so an affiliate link basically pays you a commission for promoting that product. And when they buy it, through your affiliate link, you get paid a commission. So one of the most popular ones, one of the biggest ones is the Amazon Associates affiliate program. Now that pays you up to 10%. So if someone were to buy a piece of furniture on Amazon that was $100, you could make up to like $10 on that sale. Now, if that is on a video, the great thing about YouTube is your video is pretty much on there forever unless you take it down. So you could, let's say you had enough traffic to get one sale a day. So you could make another, you could make like $10 a day off that video. Um, but you don't have to wait until you have good authority on YouTube to start making money. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait on YouTube monetization. So YouTube monetization 
doesn't kick in until you have good standing and a good reputation on YouTube which could take a few weeks or something like that so you can start making money right away by having affiliate links in your video description so you would sign up to say something like Amazon Associates which is at affiliate-program.amazon.com click join now for free once you do that log in and then you can go to Amazon and you'll notice this gray bar pops up up here it shows you your earnings it shows you a Twitter share button a Facebook share button text it'll also have image and text image once you actually click on a product page but what you can do is just click text and when you click text I will have a drop down and it'll have a shortened affiliate link so you would copy that link and then put it in your video description so somebody who doesn't who does this for example who does like tech reviews um, is Marcus Brownlee um, and what he does is he reviews phones and laptops and all kinds of equipment so then he puts a link to the equipment he's talking about which looks like an affiliate link I don't know for sure but it looks just like an affiliate link and then if you are interested in the um, product he's talking about then you can buy it here and he gets a commission so even if you don't have ads yet you're making money so I would recommend you start with affiliate marketing right away you don't have to just do Amazon there's also clickbank.com um, but Amazon has the biggest selection number five you can stay um, YouTube and viewer friendly obviously this is a very big thing I'm just gonna cover this real quick the reason you want to do this is so that you can have the the um, availability of doing paid live streams monetization through ads stuff like that so um, they have this thing called super chat you can see down here you can do that want to be eligible for that if you want to do a live video if you do a lot of live videos on YouTube people can pay money to get their questions in the comments um, boosted that's basically what that does so you get paid for that um, if you're doing regular videos and you want to make money off of ads which is how most youtubers make money that's monetization you can see that I have it enabled um, but if you don't have a good copyright status that has a smiley face on that one or the smiley face on the community guideline status you're not going to be able to monetize and it takes a little bit to prove yourself so like I said do affiliate links first just to at least make some money and do um, n do not do anything that could compromise your status so don't use other people's music or content in your videos without permission um, don't use any, a, a bunch of profanity or talk about very divisive topics um, so those types of things are what can give you some bad strikes on your account you can check that under channel status and features number six use the keyword planner once you are monetizing ads so if you want to do ads you want to use the Google keywords planner which is part of Google AdWords it's free um, it's through their advertising tool but once you get to it you go to tools keyword planner let's say you want to talk about iPhone review you would click get ideas and then it shows you some uh, results so you can look at okay it gets an average monthly search volume of about one to ten thousand per month high competition which means there's a lot of advertisers usually um, suggested bid three dollars and forty one cents so it's, they're paying a decent amount per click to get their ads in front of content about iPhone reviews um, so although the competition is high if you can build up your channel later on you can start ranking for stuff like this but you want to focus more for uh, low and medium competition but the point of this video is not having subscribers so what you want to do is um, 
just focus on the suggested bid. If you want to do videos about certain reviews, you can find what product reviews will make you the most money um, for the amount of views you're going to get. So let's say you get a thousand views on a regular video. Um, you'll make more if the suggested bid by a typical advertiser for those keywords is three dollars and forty one cents than if the typical bid is a dollar sixty one. So you don't have to get millions of views to make good money on YouTube if you take these things into account. So check the suggested bid of whatever your video is about. iPhone review is just kind of the example I'm using um, and it'll tell you what advertisers are willing to pay per click to get their ads in front of that stuff. So that'll tell you kind of um, what the potential is for that thousand views. So you might make, you know, three dollars per thousand views instead of fifty cents. Or here's another one for five dollars. So check that if you want to make more money for the same amount of views and it'll really help you with the ads part. Number seven, you want to use similar keywords and tags to top competitor videos. So as far as using vidIQ, this is kind of where that kicks in. If you want to see what popular videos you can get ideas from, um, for instance, if you type in iPhone 7 review, vidIQ right here, you can see it on the right side here, shows you all the um, big stats about it. So search volume is pretty high for this. Competition is not great, but it, you know, depending on how good you are, you might be able to rank. Um, it'll tell you some other keywords you might target that might be less competition. It'll also tell you the tags of the top couple of videos that you can copy those tags if you want to do a video similar to one of these. So that just gives you a lot of information to work with. You can also see how many shares it has, um, the uh, engagement rate percentage, for instance this one's much higher, and uh, things like that. So if you wanted to do an iPhone 7 review, you could do it with a similar title to one of the top ones on here and you could use the same tags as the top videos to give you more of a chance of being like a um, related video to one of these and if you can become a related video to those you'll get a huge boost in traffic so you want to have good search volume here um, as close to green as possible even just being around 30 is good though um, competition you don't want too high but you know, if there's no competition, it's probably not a popular keyword. So there you go. VidIQ will tell you your video stats. I'll show you more about that in a minute. But um, it'll also tell you other people's stats. And you can even copy tags to the clipboard by clicking the little paper clip next to the tags. And then use them for your video. Number eight, you want to use cars to promote other videos. So as far as just um, promoting other videos within your video, like maybe people are not feeling it watching this certain video, they might be more interested in your other content. So this is a fairly new video I did. Um, if I want to add cards to it, I would just click cards. Usually I like to pause it. And what I typically do is do, it kind of depends on how long your videos are, but for me it works very well because mine are usually between 15 and 30 minutes. I do it like every five minutes. So then I'll go to like five minutes or somewhere around there, click add card, click video or playlist, and then I'll add something that's uh, maybe related to this, like uh, YouTube analytics. That's kind of still around the whole social media thing, I might add that one. Um, then I'll go to like 10 minutes or so, or somewhere around there. And then I'll add another card. And usually I do video, I just do related videos because if you send people away from YouTube, if you keep trying to send them to your own links and stuff, um, your video channel is not gonna look too good. YouTube is trying to make more money for itself 
and it pays you when you make them money. So you want to keep people on YouTube by getting them to watch as many of your channel, your uh, videos as possible. So I do cards through video or playlist like every five minutes through my videos just to give people a chance to see other content I've done that might interest them. Another thing you can do is share vid your video everywhere that you have followers. So if you have a few thousand Twitter followers, a few thousand Facebook followers, a few thousand Instagram followers, that's a big uh, chunk of potential views right there. Um, maybe you have an email list. Hopefully you do if you're trying to run this as a business. Um, it's always good to have an email list. I recommend something like GetResponse. Um, I've done other videos that talk about email marketing, but GetResponse is a great tool for collecting emails. You can send a link to your YouTube video through those emails. Um, all, obviously, when you go to a video, like let's say you go to a random TED Talks video or any other YouTube video, you can click share down here. So you go un right under this subscribe button, click share. And then it allows you to instantly share it on Twitter, StumbleUpon, Dig, Google+, Pinterest, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. So you can do that or you can just um, give some other kind of you know, notification to people through email or whatever. Wherever you have followers, let them know that you have a new video out. And last but not least, you can, without subscribers you don't have a whole lot of people that are just instantly start watching your video right away um, unless you have big social media followings so you can leverage other people's social followings through viral content buzz just retweet and empire cred so this is a big part that got me a boost when I needed um, extra traffic to my videos before I had many subscribers uh, I would go to like viral content B just go to viral content B.com sign in it's free. All you do, you get paid to uh, promote these pieces of content. You can sort it by category if you're only looking to promote certain types of content. Um, like for instance, you get four points maybe for stumbling this article. Um, stuff like that. So then you get points. It tells you how many credits you have. You will accumulate about 30 credits or more. Then you would go to add project and then put in your the page to your video the URL to your video right here the title description about three categories project budget would be at least 30 or more and then you know check the boxes that you need to and then click submit and then people will start sharing your stuff in exchange for points so you're basically trading shares of content for shares of your content. Um, another thing you can do is just retweet, which is very similar to Viral Content B, except it's Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, and it basically makes a tweet with a link in it. So you would promote these people's tweets. You get 31 credits for promoting this, 51 for promoting this, blah, blah, blah. Once you get a couple hundred credits, um, you could go to submit tweet, fill it out. Um, if you want to instantly get the tweet from the video, you could go and click this Twitter button under the share tab of your video, paste that in here, let them know how many you're willing to pay them per share, which you know you want to do at least about 10 credits. Um, how many times to promote it depends on how many points you have total Twitter Facebook Google Plus um, And that's about it you do your category and number of followers that you want them to have so you know you might do like a thousand So then that'll narrow it down to about half or a little under half of people on the site um, and then empire.cred so empire.cred that's the website empire.cred and then you would sign in it's free just like the other two are um, they have a stock market where you can invest in people and make um, what they call eaves which is same thing as credits 
and then you pay people by also doing missions you can do these missions and get paid it tells you how many eves you get paid and then you can run your own missions so you could go to missions and then create your own and then people get paid to go and visit your video so those three will also allow you to leverage other people's social media accounts to get a lot of shares get a lot of views and boost your stuff before you even have that many subscribers so other than that that's it for this video hopefully this will help you um, you don't need a lot of subscribers to use any of these tactics they should help you build a very strong channel on YouTube so if you got something from this video if you feel like you learned something please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you also if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or if you want to just um, add to this maybe you have some other strategies I didn't mention let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you and the notes links related content all that stuff from this video will be on one page for you at selfmadesuccess.com I'll get that up there in a couple days and I'll also get a link in the video description for you as well so look for that in the next few days and other than that I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helps you and I hope you have a great day